What's up, Clutch Play Gamers? I'm back with another video. Madden 21 is not here. I got a lot of catching up to do. We already got YouTubers that done got multiple videos out. You know, I just got the video today with everybody else. I'm, I'm sorry, I just got the video game today like everybody else. So I'm going to start going over some stuff. So the first thing I'm going to go over is starting the franchise. And I'm just going to walk out through starting the franchise. All right, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, you want to pick franchise mode. Next, you wanna you wanna create a new franchise. This is how you accept the um franchise, and this is how you look up franchises. But what we wanna do, create a new league. So either you could play online, and that's online is cloud, and that's you could play that with thirty one other users. So you could play a full online league with thirty two players in your league, or you could play offline. And that's you just playing against the computer. So what, what I like to play is online. That's it's recommended too, is one of the good options. So with when you picking this, you want to play with real life NFL um players like the roster, you wanna play with um active rosters. I'll go with active rosters and, and everything. It's just your it's just your preference on how you wanna um start the season out with with um rosters. Active is um Active is pretty much the recommended. Select the team you want to join. Right here, this is the team you want to pick. You pick whatever team you want to pick. For me, I'm going with my Panthers. Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left. Okay, so you just heard him. What we what we gonna do is starting point. This this is the first option. This the Start it. Start playing is you can play as the head coach or whatever preseason, but this is the starting point. The starting point lets you know if you want to go in a preseason, regular season, or if you want to do a fantasy draft. I recommend when you start in a league, I recommend what they recommend. You you start with your preseason first. You could you um change roles. You could play as a head coach, or you can be an owner or a player. If you um if you're a player, then obviously you. You get to pick any player off your favorite team and you could play with him through the career mode and all that, playing with him. Or you could be an owner and you could manage all the money, all the re-signing players and everything. You know, the food prices and everything. I like to do owner. And then, like, with, with this one, you could be a former player. If you be a former player, you see the perks that you get with the um, legacy score and the roster happiness. Or you could start and you start with 200 million funds. And um, minus happiness, lifelong fan, you get a fan boost, success, um, successful ha happiness, um, and you start with the negative is you start with two hundred million, and um, happiness ain't that good. Financial mogul, you could um, you start with three hundred million. This is the recommended one you start with if you're gonna pick an owner. Start with three hundred million as an owner. That's the best thing you do. So I, I always start with that. Let's just hit accept. Next. Okay, let me go back to this other one. Let me go back to coach so I can show y'all something real quick. We're just going to say active coach. All right, right here, we're um, change role with the use coach, custom coach. If you use a custom coach, you get to pick if you want a motivator, trade influence. And this, the trade influence only works if you're playing against computers because obviously a user, you got to be able to have that, that swag to trade with a user. Expert scouting packages with this one. You can be a strategic coach or whatever. Like that this is a good one for um whether you are um playing in the user mode or computer because you get the expert scouting. Team building, coach XP packaging, this is a good one too when you in a um 32 man league. The only one that ain't a good one with a 32 man league is motivator. Like that's that's pointless. Trade package influence. That that has nothing to do with owners. So let's go back to change role. We're gonna be an owner. Financial mogul. All right. So next we go. We at league setting. This is the most important thing. Um, before starting your franchise mode, this, this is the most important one right here. So right here, you could pick between your skill setting, all Madden, rookie, pro, all pro. I I play on all Madden. You could play competitive, 
arcade assimilation. Arcade is very just anything goes, you know, kind of like you playing NFL Blitz or something. Simulation geared toward more football, um, realistic plays and competition is. I'm, I'm sorry, competitive is you making all the plays and and Madden not making you just do crazy mouse animations and crazy stuff like that. I always I like either or sim or comp. I play on either or. The league type, you pick whatever type you want. All owners, coaching owners, and or you could just keep it on all. When I when I do um my franchise, I like to do just owners only. Instant starters. This is only for if you if you pick my player. If you pick a player, that's that's instant start trade deadline. You want to keep it as realistic as possible. You want to keep trade deadlines on. So week eight, you'll no longer be able to trade after week eight. Trade type. You you wanna you could say enable all humans. If you're in the league with all 32, you wanna enable all humans. Um coach firing, that has nothing to do. Y'all keep that on computer only. But like I say, y'all y'all could keep it on off because y'all shouldn't have no computer in y'all league. Um or you could or you have it on. A coach get fired for having a bad season and not being up to par. So whatever you want to pick, I, I choose mine off. Salary cap is very important for a realistic league. You wanna keep this on at all times. If not, then they pretty much play a mud league where you could just add on, add on players and have a crazy, crazy team, a 99 overall team year one, and you don't have to pay nobody. Superstar abilities, obviously, you want to keep this on. If you want to turn it off and go back to the two years ago when Madden, when Madden first, when Madden was out, and you could go back to that. Superstar abilities off. Relocation settings, I like to have mine off. But you can have users only. You got um, with the computers. If you got a league with computers and users, you can have it on everybody, or you can have it on all users on. So it's just what you what you want. I, I keep mine off, so we can stay in the same same area. So injuries. This is important. Injuries you want to have on pre-existing injuries. You want to turn this off because any player in real life that's injured, they will be injured in your league. You want to turn that off. Practice squad stealing. Is your preference? I like to keep practice squad still at home because in real life you can't you can't cover nobody up. If if you don't sign them to your team, any team could get that player. So I like to keep that on. Career clock is that that's your scenario engine. So you want to keep that on because that's what makes franchise mode better. All right. So this is obviously this player mode, full control, full, uh, full on field control. This is just player mode. If you chose to be a player in your franchise. You could control everybody else on your, on that team, so that could be off on. It don't matter because you, you're using, you're a coach or owner in the franchise. The roster protection they put this in the game to protect you for people that want to quit out your league. So you wanna you wanna have a minimum on your settings. Last year I did 50. This year I might do 46 because because I got a a great bunch of users in my league that I know is not about that. Bull crap. So it's like, just know your players you got in your league that won't spaz out, get mad, and drop players off your team. Same thing with in season, um, in season player movement. You can have it on zero. You can have it on two, unlimited four, or whatever you want to have. They recommend four. So it's just whatever you want to have, and this just, this just, um, just don't allow people to move players around as much as possible. So. They have to really be strategic about how many times they move a player and things like this. Player overall cut restriction. This is very important because if a player just get mad, you want to make sure you have a limit to where they can't cut no 90 overall players, 99 overall players. This is just a particular league. Once again, I'm keeping my eyes on no restrictions because I got a good bunch of um, people in my league. So we going off that until we see something different. Other than that, we keep it on no restrictions. Um, all season um, player cut. We keep this on unlimited, but you could you could have no cut. They can't cut nobody in the off season. They cut one player, two players. You know, I let people do whatever they want in the off season to get their team together. That's the best part about being in a franchise because you want to see how a user manage their team. But like I said once again, roster protection is to protect your league from people who get mad and want to quit out the league and do dumb stuff to mess up your league. So. Just if you start in a league for the first time, you want to use these settings to protect yourself. Clock management. We like to play on six. We keep it on six minute turn accelerator clock off. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, we turn the accelerator clock off and and go like that. All right, user team help. 
This is very important. When you're doing this, I like to have all my own manual, but I'm gonna walk you through it. Weekly training. If you if you don't if you one of the people that don't like to do weekly training, individually train your players, keep put it on auto and the computer will do it for you. Trades and free agency, if you don't got time to do trades and free agency, put on auto. But I tell you one thing, it'll help you with free agency, sign free, free agency, but you don't want your team to trade no player away that you won't because another user sent you a trade. So keep that on manual, no matter what. Keep that on manual. Off-season, off-season free agent bidding, you can have that on manual. You can do it yourself. Or when you ain't home, you can put it on auto and let the computer try to win your player while you away if you if you weren't able one available to um, try to catch a player in a free agency um, pool bidding. So next we got injury management. So this is pretty much if a player is injured, they telling you, oh, um, do you want this player to come back or not? The computer will make that decision for you if you have it on auto. I keep it on manual. I'll make the decision for my player myself. Uh, preseason cut, I want to keep this on manual because um, you might have some players that just got a 56 overall or 60 overall, but they 95 speed. You want that player, so I suggest you keep this on manual. If you put it on auto, the computer will cut the sorry player off your team. He don't. The computer do not care nothing about speed. Contract negotiation. If you want them players that have a tough time giving players contracts or thinking should you sign or resign this player, or I mean I'm sorry, resign and let it go this player, put it on auto. But if you know what you're doing, keep it on manual. And also, if you keep it on manual, ask your commissioner, ask other people for help to help you out with contract negotiation. This is very important in your franchise. Scouting players, scouting college players, if you don't like to scout, put it on auto. This year, I'm going to have mine on auto. I love to scout, but this year, I'm going to have mine on auto because I'm doing all custom drafts for my league. So, I'm going to have mine on auto so they could just scout because I don't care. I'm going to let my team go auto draft for me and everything. I'm not going to be allowed to draft because I am the commissioner. So I will have that on auto for me, but I, but you know, if you like scouting, put it on manual. But the computer will scout everybody that you need and stuff like that. So it might be a good thing to have it on that. League advancement, you don't want the computer to automatically advance your league for you. You want to keep that that on manual as an owner. As I'm sorry, as a commissioner, you want to keep that on manual. Tutorial pop ups, team settings, I have that off. I don't, I don't want no help. I don't need no help. No help. If you still need help in Madden. I suggest you keep tutorial pop-up on. All right, auto-progressive players. I keep mine off because I want to progress my players myself, but if you rushing through it and you want the computer to do it and, uh, and every time you get a, a piece to upgrade your players, have it on auto, the computer will do it for you. Auto-field roster. If you're having a tough time filling your roster, keeping them at the minimum, the league minimal, keep it on field roster. They'll, they'll have your roster filled for you. I keep this off. I fill my own roster. I manage my own team. Online commission the settings. This is your you want to have this on private so nobody could just jump in your your league. If you have it public, anybody could jump in and jump out and mess up your league. You don't want to have it on public. I recommend private. I strongly recommend private. This is where you get to pick your maximum users, whether you want one user or two users or or thirty two users. Do you know? So this is where you uh, put that. Right here is your league name. You want to put. Your, your league name, my league, gonna obviously be Clutch Play Gamers. So that's going to be my league name. Your password, you put in your password, whatever you want your password to be. And, and you know, you go with it. And so that that's, and then once you do everything like that, then you start, you start the league. So, so once we start the league, then that, there it is. Thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you ain't already subscribed, just subscribe to the channel and please like this video. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll come back with part two of, of uh, um, starting the franchise. Next, we will talk about understanding the franchise. Thank y'all. CPG out.